This is James Fox with another video tutorial for QuickBooks Pro 2013. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to search and find a customer's outstanding invoice. Now, an outstanding invoice is simply an invoice that a customer has not paid. So I'm going to show you how to find that invoice once you receive payment from a customer. Now the first thing we're going to do is click on the Receive Payments icon on the QuickBooks homepage. Now the easiest way to locate a customer's outstanding invoice is to type in the name of the customer in the Received From field. So I'm going to type in one of Joe's Landscaping's sample customers, which is going to be Curly Company, and here are Curly Company's outstanding invoices. Now that's one way to locate a customer's outstanding invoice. Now sometimes things can be a little bit more complicated than that. For example, what if you received a check from a third party who's paying an invoice on behalf of one of your customers? This means that the check that you received is not going to have your customer's name on it. It's going to have a different company's name on the check. However, what if that check does have the invoice number on the check? So let's see how can we use that information to look up your customer's invoice. So once again, you will click on the Receive Payments icon, and then you're going to click the Look Up Customer Invoice button on the ribbon just above Customer Payment. Now you will see the Find a Customer slash Invoice dialog box appear, and in the Search By field, there are several options. The first option that we're going to use is the invoice number option because once again we have received a check from a third party and that third party did include your customer's invoice number on the check. So type in the invoice number and then click search. Now the invoice number that I typed in has brought me to another one of Joe's Landscaping's sample customers invoices. So select the correct invoice and then click Use Selected Customer or Transaction. And here is the outstanding invoice for Huey Company. Okay, now let's use another example because sometimes it can be a little bit more complicated than that. What if you received a check in the mail from a third party, so once again, your customer's name is not on the check, and the third party does not have the invoice number on the check? How are you going to find the invoice that the third party is trying to pay for on behalf of your customer. Once again, click on the Receive Payments icon and then click the Look Up Customer Slash Invoice button just above the ribbon. Now, if the amount of the check is the exact amount of the invoice, you're going to use the option Invoice Amount. Now, you won't know if the check is the exact amount of the invoice until we try that amount. But let's assume that for this example, we have the correct amount on the check. And that correct amount is $330 and then click search. And here is the outstanding invoice that we were searching for. Select it and then click use selected customer or transaction. Now let's click the look up customer slash invoice button one last time and look at more of the options that you can use to search by. You can search by invoice date, invoice date range, company name, etc. I recommend that you use the option that allows you to locate the outstanding invoice the fastest and that's going to depend upon the information that was given to you. Now that's how you search for and find a customer's outstanding invoice. If you have any questions simply send me an email. Once again my name is James Fox and I'll see you next time.